Hello everyone and welcome to Luna Novo. Uh, this is our little space base on the moon. My name is Kurzar, uh, or Kurzar for those of you who only ever saw it written and never pronounced. Um, anyway, today I'm going to be showing you a uh, hangar door setup uh, that I shamelessly lifted from Venom 415 on the workshop. I saw it, I don't know, a couple years ago when it was originally published and thought it was a pretty brilliant design. Uh, and when I came to building a giant hangar that we could uh, actually close up, I figured I'd uh, give it a whirl. Now, some differences between our designs are, uh, one, uh, his was originally a rectangle I went with an octagon, so we built sort of a, we dug a, a big circular um, hangar down into a crater. Um, and there are some mechanical differences that I'll point out as we go along. So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the show. Let's see. You. So after I get out of my little ugly ship here, I'm gonna take a look and see what's happening here. The first thing that goes on is there are airtight hangar doors all around the doors here. And just like in Venom 415's design, um, they are there so that they can open first and when the doors go to actually detach and open, uh, they avoid uh, hitting other grids and causing clank explosions. Um, after the doors open, the hangar doors, uh, these merge blocks uh, on either side of the hinge uh, unlatch, uh, leaving the doors as free-floating in their own grids, and they begin to open. Now, Venom's original design was a, uh, a rotor-based design with, um, I believe it was thruster overrides and there were thrusters actually on the doors that would open and close them using very carefully just overrides um, I didn't really want to have <clears throat> excuse me I didn't really want to have thrusters on this design um, because because yeah because um, so I originally went with a, a piston based design I'm sorry a rudder based design uh, but found that in the event of accidentally uh, removing a hinge piece or having it blown off, when attempting to reattach, if I still had the rotor uh, limit set, it was prone to uh, exploding. And it was uh, not very graceful when I sent this door spinning over onto uh, that turret setup over there and it destroyed most everything. <clears throat> so as you can see, instead I went with pistons. Um, the concept here is I still have rotors because you need the hinges, of course, um, but this rotor here is a free-floating, completely unpowered rotor with no limits, hooked up to the hinge piece that hooks into a second free-floating, unpowered rotor, no limits, that then connects to the door itself. And I have two hinges for each door, four rotors on the outside. Uh, the, the actuators, uh, which are pistons, are in the interior, and they similarly have uh, a pair of rotors uh, in between, which is the, the piston. And it's set up basically any any um, you know car trunk lid um, that uses a, a gas powered piston. Uh, it has the unpowered rotor here. Uh, it has in this case a series of pistons because this is a pretty big 80 meter diameter door, um, and then one more unpowered rotor that pushes it open. And that is pretty much it for how the door works. Um, but as you can see, I get my little ugly uh, battleship here that was put together in about 20 minutes because we needed one really horribly. Um, and these doors give me plenty of room to maneuver. It's not smashed into the wall. And yes, the ship is uh, a little bit underpowered in the thruster department. Oh, we can come in here, we can park our little shippy-doo. Without clipping the ceiling. Preferably. This hangar is still unfinished, but it'll do. It'll do big. Plan. 
we're down. And of course, uh, when closing, the opposite, uh, the, everything happens in the opposite order. Um, the the merge blocks can be a little nerve wracking because they they almost clang, but but not quite. And I haven't had any explosions yet. Uh, one one downside to this is it does take it a full 90 seconds to open or close. Um, and I, while I could increase the hinges' speed, what happens is as the doors open, they kind of snap open at the very end because. Um, of the way they're pushing the doors, it, it makes them move faster towards the end than towards the beginning. Um, and it's a little a little bouncy, don't like it very much. Um, and, and while I could increase the speed of like two of the pistons to get it to open faster at the beginning, uh, it would still take 90 seconds to open, assuming I didn't want to have that snapping action at the end. Uh, so I leave it. The door itself has a few other features that I'll get to in just a moment whenever the doors close in 25 seconds. I was a, maybe a bit generous with the timers. Uh, this actually sits closed for ooh, close to 10 seconds before these merge blocks actually reactivate and try to attach. And I'll show you how nerve wracking it can be as they sit here yellow for several seconds before they finally snap into place. As you can see, as it gets closer to, the, to being closed, it slows down quite a bit. And that's even with the pistons at a static speed. Alright, so we are down. As you can see, they don't quite line up yet. yellow. So I'll try to connect. And you know what's going to happen is this is going to explode this time. Just because. Oh, there we go. And we're on. And the hangar doors close. And this actually creates an airtight seal. Uh, now the, the hangar itself isn't airtight yet. We're still working on that. And I don't think the game will appreciate us pressurizing an area that large uh, or that convoluted. So we, we probably will never actually pressurize it. Um, anyway, one last feature that the store has is uh, it is uh, you know pretty uh, agonizing to open and close this door all the time. So I put a little cutout in here and added a sensor block that senses uh, both uh, characters as well as small ships in your own faction. Um, and when you're close enough, it just opens these doors here. So as long as your two smallest dimensions are not larger than four by seven large blocks, you can pretty easily slip a ship right through here and come into land. That sensor uh, gets turned off when the doors open because I didn't want to end up in a situation with these doors, you know, close, attempting to be closed while the, uh, the main doors close. But yeah, that is it for a little demonstration. Um, if I think of anything else exciting, I will certainly post some kind of update. But that is that. Thank you all for watching.